What's going on guys and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are still in this little encampment from the previous episode. But right now we're going to head over to the gobl Goblin Camp uh, and get these guys wars. So we are like 400, uh, After what 400 away. Goblin banker at Gringotts. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Hmm. And you've probably noticed as well I've changed my outfit because this one is the one you can actually unlock if you connect your Warner Brothers account to the Wizarding World uh, website uh, once you've, you know, played around with like the wands and all that kind of stuff. So you can actually go and get this as long as, as well as a mask and stuff like that. So if you haven't done that, go over there and get some free attire. So we are going to head over here. And it does seem that a uh, majority of you do want to see everything regarding the game. You want to see me traveling from location to location. What is this? Lumos. Whoa. Beast, welcome. What's happened here? Rebellion. Herberdine Black Scale. The Herberdine Black, uh, Black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. A large, rough scale, originally belonging to one of these beasts, is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Interesting. That's a big-ass dragon. What was that, Rebellion. though? Sat on the ground. So, I have seen... Oh. I have seen a lot of memes about Hogwarts Legacy, and a lot of people are basically saying... Hogwarts Legacy, you have to just Revelio everywhere. And that's something I've not been doing. Like, throughout the castles, throughout just wherever I've been, I need to Revelio every now and again to kind of just unlock stuff. Um, there's something red over here. There's an enemy. I don't know what it is. These are some weird rocks. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Oh, it is. Oh, it's wolves. There's wolves. Alright, let's sprinkle my flowers on this. Incendium. Oh. Accio. Ah, we got an Accio one. There's another one. Right? Is there another one? I don't want to attack that wolf just yet whilst I'm doing this. Oh, it's there. Accio. Bloody hell, how many is there? That wolf's heading this way. Is that it done? It does seem like it. Aha! And now are you the last one? Uh... Um... Um... I should investigate. Um... Um Accio. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Confused the hell out of me. <clears throat> Maybe I need to start looking up, you know? I need to start looking up. Let's take on a few of these wolves. I want to see what they're capable of. Oh, 
Okay. I didn't really get to attack. But I got mongrel fur. Which we'll be able to use somewhere. So we do have to take out the wildlife to get items. Very much like you do in any other game. Let's go and get these wolves down here as well. I might as well grab it whilst I'm here, right? In case we need it in the future. For any portions. For any attire that we can make. Let me hear so. Ow. Damn. Mm, I will become a strong wizard. I can promise you that. You will see me do the one ball combos. But that will come with practice. And time. I feel like I'm a first year. You know. At least one thing, the night time is not dark. Like, extremely dark. Like, it's visible. There's moonlight. I want to get back on the road here because I, I feel like some of the things are along the road. Like, little points of interest we can grab. I think there's more wolves up there. I want to try and take note of where most things are as well. For example, little points of interest. In case I need to do a specific Damn side that. quest, which goes, please this get me, you know, like the wolves, for example. Oh, we have a little goblin camp. Here we go. Like been at this for hours. Time to put my training into action. Looks as if there's more than one way to <laughs> Come on. Come out of here. I didn't mean to press the mid. I pressed the bit. Whoa. You can't stop. Woo! Okay. My combat needs to increase. <laughs> Dude, get over here. I can't. Oh, God damn it. I'm not even trying. You stood outside the bloody wall. I know not, I'm not trial when I see one. Not doing anything. Come here. Where you at? Alright. 
That, that was a kerfuffle. I pressed the middle button in the thing. There's a reason I'm a spoon. But like I said, I will become a strong wizard. New uniform. Give me some shrooms. Just watch how I am now. And wait for my power. Oh, this is kind of cool. Revelion. What is this? Incendio. Revelio. I don't know what they are. I feel like they go on to that, though. Revelio. Revelio. All right, let's do the Merlin trial. Oh, there's another goblin. That was quite something. Now to free Arn's carts. Yes. Let me throw some of these leaves down first. So what do we do with these? These want the stones in, it looks like. Doesn't it? Levioso. Incendio. Accio. I feel like I need a spell I don't have for this. I feel like I need Wingardium Leviosa to pick these up. Leviosa. Um. Accio. Never mind. I have these. Nice. That means there is another one, which is a, I'm guessing is the one up here. Um, but I need more balls. Rebellion. I need. Oh, they're in there. Come with me. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Oh. Oh. God. The wizarding world, man. They're literally just traveling back. In any other game, I would have to... Wait, why are they not following me now? Is it because I'm not... And then I do that? No. There we go. Is there another? I feel like Revelio. There's another. Oh, my gear slots are full. Oh, I keep going into that menu as well. Um, I should really go and sell some of my stuff, right? I should really go and sell some of this. Um, I've got like a thousand. Is there any of these I can sell that's cheap? 60. Let's just get rid of that. And then... Get some pyjamas. I guess. 
Right, there's some more things around here, but... I know I need to return to iron, but I've got this to do. There's one... There must be one more, right? There's got to be one more. Revelio. And I don't think it's in the camp. It might be outside the camp. But... I don't see any more balls. Let's have a... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. It is here. It's there. And there's the balls. Wait. Incendio. Accio. There we go. Oh, if I hold Accio, it follows me. If I hold Accio. There we go. There we go. All right. Merlin's beard. Come on. Yes. Nice. I'm wondering... Did we unlock a charm thing? That uh, charm thing. Um, a fast travel. 27 gold. I want to make sure I can grab as much stuff as I can out from here. Rebellion. But, like, I'm not seeing anything else glowing. I can see this. I don't know if that's destroyable. I guess not. It's just, it's just showing me that I can levy also it. All right. Let's return back to Oin. And... Hand in this quest. Oh, God. Okay, I was heading back. But then this Thornback shooter decided to come out of the ground. Uh, Shame you're so foul. I didn't expect a spider to come out of the ground just there. I thought I would see him in the Forbidden Forest, but not along just this route where people are taken to do their daily commutes. Hello. Good morning. I like how there's people obviously around now that it's daytime and stuff. But oh boy. Like I say, this game is a beautiful game. Like most games now are like getting re getting to that point where like visuals are stunning. Like you can you're starting to see next gen coming, you know. I've seen a lot of people saying they've got issues with PC um performance wise. I've not had any. I don't know if it's just due to down to specs or anything, but people have been having stuttering regarding Zen 4 CPUs. Um, apparently with, uh, AMD, um, I'm crazy stuttering and all that stuff. I can't say I've had a performance problem. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. What do you mean? On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I, to, I don't know what to say. Hmm. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. 
Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Are you... Oh, I thought it would give me something. Not sure how I'd fare in I was expecting the, to see the carts kind of come down along the route, you know. That would have been cool, but I didn't. And I took the exactly the same path they would have took anyway, so. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. God. All right. Let's take Rebellion. a... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I don't need to go up to this. I keep thinking I need to go up to these to, like, teleport back or, or anything like that. I don't need to, do I? Um, I do need to go to Hogwarts map. Oh, that's... Yeah, Hogwarts map. Wait, what's that? Zonka's Joke Shop. Oh, yeah, that's the, the thingy shop, isn't it? Um, uh, World map. No. Wait, no. Hogwarts map. The little flag at side of it, Bitsy. And then we've got this. So, I do need to go... Um... Who's that? Summoner's Court Match 1. Summoner's Court is a popular at Hogwarts. Students often gather near the board looking for new opponents to challenge. As one would imagine, the competition among the houses is fierce. Having defeated Natty and Le uh, Linda Hewitt, uh, I've demonstrated that I'm capable of comp- Oh, it's it's the- it's the, the- the- what's it called? Them pulling them ball things. Wait, I didn't- I didn't win though, did I? I don't think I won. Against the rewards, Expelliarmus. Yes. We want to go there and we'll teleport. Uh, sorry. We'll set a... I keep pressing thingy. Yeah, ignore me. Um, let's go get Expelliarmus. We have done the things. Um, the missions for it. I'm just looking forward to getting my broom. So we can just go and explore everywhere. Instead of me running around everywhere. Um, oh yeah, we've been in here, haven't we? Um... Where is the dark arts uh, from here? I'm literally right next to it. Of course, it's going to be like downstairs and wrap around loads of things, isn't it? Oh, so it is. I've literally just gone all the way up to the top of these stairs that I keep going up and down like a bloody yo-yo. Hey, everybody. Coming through. Why do all students seem like they're never doing anything? Go to class. Rebellio. Oh. Wait, that means there's a... A fluttering key nearby. It's there. Come here. I know where you're going. What move. Are you up to Excuse now? Move, move, kids. That's it. Yes. Nice. Another token. That's two we need to actually hand into the common room thing now. So that's a total of three out of 16, giving us 13 left to go. Time to learn Expelliarmus. everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all Did. of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand.
Nice. And it's a red. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. So the Expelliarmus spell is going to be able to disarm um, enemies. I'm actually going to put that on top of there. Now we've got four skills we can... Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the skill. Accio. But keep ascending. Let the Expelliarmus may save your life. <laughs> so if we have any goblins that have the axes and Rebellion. all that stuff, we can... Uh, unarm. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Porch Raid of 1878. Um, I don't know if that was in the film. Is that hanging actually in the Dark Arts classroom in the theme film? I tell you... I'm just wondering, I thought I would see the cabinet, uh, cabinet with the, with the bogger in, and maybe you can summon it, I don't know, you know what I mean, with uh, where Harry gets the uh, Dementor, so we have that other quest outside, what's this one, the famous Great Hall, we need to go into the Great Hall anyway, it appears that Gareth Weasley wants to speak with me. Talk to Gareth. Okay. Let's go speak to Gareth. And then we do have a main quest as well. Because uh, in each of the videos, in each of the episodes, I kind of want to get a main quest done and a couple of side quests. I feel like that's a good route to take, depending on where I am or what the main focus is. So we can, uh, we can advance. Obviously, I'm going to be traverse traveling to the... Travel into the uh, the place as well. Ooh. And then if we find some stuff. I don't want to be missing puzzles. So I want to like... Oh, there's a key in here. I see a key. I can see a key. Key, key, key. Well, there's the cupboard. The key's over here somewhere. There it is. Come here. Come on. Down here, buddy. Down here. I'll race you to it. Come on. Good boy. This is all about timing. You don't have to do anything with this. You literally just press the button as soon as you see it go across the keyhole. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, I can light these, can't I? Incendio. No, maybe not. Maybe they're the automatic ones. Good morning. Oh, look at this place. What's that? Oh, a thing. Revelio. A thing. Oh. 132. Ah, okay. So that's symbol there. This needs to be two, which I have done. This one is the cross. So this needs to be a four. Incendio. I can't tell which is which because I burnt it. There it is. And then we've got these down here. So we have the triangle and... Oh, the triangle with the circle. It kind of looks like the... Triangle is one and the one with the circle is three. Okay. So then this one needs to be three. Incendio. I burnt it again. Can't tell which is which. Oh, three. And then... Wh one? I've got a brain like a spoon. 
Yeah. Right? Rebellion. I feel like I did it. Oh, I didn't light it, though. I need to light it. Watch out, kids. Fire. Incoming. Incendio. Oh. Ladders. Solve Hogwarts secrets. One out of one. You wanna... Oh, two. there you go. You figured it out. I thought it just locked me in. Rebellion. Whoa. This is going to... I'm not going to have room for it, am I? I'm not going to have room for any I I items here. I feel like we need to get rid of something else. Grave Voyager garb. Gold. Is that rare? Is that... I keep doing this. Yes, bone bits. Wait. Is it that? Whoa. The defense on that. Wait a minute, I had a better one there though, didn't I? I did. That's a level 13 legendary defense 30, but this one is a legendary level 12 defense 2. Obviously, I'm going to equip that one. I need to really go through some of this because I've. I feel like I might be missing out on some gear performance here. For example. Okay, we're fine. We're at the maximum we can get. And now, what I really need to be doing is I need to kind of sell some of these at the store. Oh, we do have the... We have unlocked a few one things as well, haven't we? Oh, this blue one. I don't think I like it, though. Yeah, I don't think I like it. I'm going to stick with this black one. All right. Cool beans. Get out of here. Wait. There's nothing else down here, is there? Rebellion. I don't want to be coming down here and finding out I've missed a whole little secret tunnel and stuff. But if you're watching this and you didn't know about this, there you go. Oh, it's rats that's in here. Oh, it is that clause in an opening. <laughs> I was confused for a second. Wait. Rebellion. And there's just a kid walking on the wall over there. I'll trade you a squeeze worth of blubberworm mucus for a puffer pod. We've not been to this side of the castle, have we? Are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Get away! Here, a dog. Is this? This is not the main entrance, is it? Rebellion. I don't think this is the main... Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. I don't think this is the main entrance of the castle.
We need to get the uh, Aloha Mora spell. Aloha Mora. Hello. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? I'm not going to lie. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable yeah, the when you your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Okay. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay, cool. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. Oh I'm God. Dried witch statues. I'll be come too back to you. To find. So we've got to find a one-eyed witch on here. On the third floor. All right. This is the grand staircase. This looks like the right statue. Found it. Now, what was the password? Descendium. There was a thing I could have grabbed then. Descendium. There was a little thing. Maybe I'll come out this same way. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Oh, God. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Uh. Uh. Do I have to jump across there? I feel like I, I I don't think I do, do I? I need to fix the lift before I can use oh. it. Oh. <laughs> I need to fix it. I need repair. Um Repair. If anyone comes down, I'm just fixing the whole thing. That seems to have done the trick. Bing. Back like new. I wonder if there's gonna be enemies down here. There could be. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Oh. Well, at least we found some new, new plants. 
He's a little bit freaky down here, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, God damn it. Spider webs. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Repair. Accio. Ah. Leviosa. I'm going to have to get past this. Is there another one? Or can I just run and jump that way? I think that's... So down there is if I fall and I've got to go back around again. Oh. Repair. Leviosa. Ooh. I don't like how we... That kind of happens. How you kind of take a little step forward when you do. Incendium. Did the trick. Oh, we're to do it from here. Okay. Oh. Hello. Is this? Am I sneaking to Hogsmeade? This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendium. I think this is taking me to Hogsmeade, isn't it? Something smells sweet. Butterbeer. Close to Honeydukes. Butterbeer. I guess whilst I'm in the town, I could sell stuff if I am. If that's where this Hogsmeade, is taking me. Here I come. Honeydukes. I can smell the chocolate. Ooh. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Right there. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. So I can either go back through the tunnel or I could um, go into town. But I may as well go into town and sell some stuff, right? Oh, it makes sense whilst I'm here. Get rid of some items. What can I do with you? Repairer. Leviosa. Just random ladders. Oh. Revelio. Every time I hear the ding, I feel like it's, it's it's giving me a notification of something either interactable or. What the? I'm a dragon. Rah! Hear me roar. Handy floss. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Rebellion. So there is some locked doors here and we just can't get in there. Hello. 
Just eat a pie. And I'll be off without pain. And now we're in Hogsmeade. Oh, there's a page. Six out of eight in Hogsmeade. Nice. So I need to go back there. Where was the portion shop? Oh, 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 page. Revelio. Oh, it's here. Hengist of Woodcroft. This statue is of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having uh, having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Inter There's so many locked doors. There's a chest down here. I am on a little adventure, thank you. Oh! We can do this one. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I need this spell. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. Aha! Very sorry, Father. 500 gold? Oh! Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh. Finally! I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, oh. not meant to be. <laughs> Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. I thought it was on about me. As always. I thought it was on about me. I was like, wait, there you are. I was like, oh. Accio. Boy, it must have been something behind me with the blue feathers or something. Okay, that's locked. Right. Let me go to the claw store. I need to go to the claw store. get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Wait, is this the closed store here? You're worrying far too much. Ooh. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. <laughs> you're not dancing. You're exercising. Father, why is he dancing? <laughs> See? And you said the charm come out in the wash, but I it hasn't. Know. Someone's so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone mm. would think you had an affliction. Has he been cursed? Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal you ones? Imagine socks, having them. Oh, Until no. then, you'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Papa, can we really wash charm down the sink? Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending her canals. Oh. Bloody hell. Revelio. That's funny. I just did not expect that guy to come out the shop, though. And just uh, be dancing away the Irish jig or something. Hello again. All out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. All out of the new socks. Lol. Who want this though? Oh, my gear slots are full. Uh, excuse me. Plenty for your perusal today. I need Take your time. to do some selling. Wait, let me make sure I've got all the I best gear on. Right, make sure we've got. I've done it again. I keep going. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. I need to make sure I've got all the best gear on. I know I checked earlier. I just want to double check in case we got anything new or I would just be in a spoon. So them two are good. Outfit. 17. Nothing green. I'm just looking to see if anything's green, really, right now. Uh, eight. Oh. There we go. 22. Wait, isn't that the one I was... Wait. Wait, so I want to wear that one. But I want to customize that and then wear this one, right? I don't know. Do we? Do I? Do we? Do I? I oh, don't know. Maybe we go with that. But what about putting the hood up? Oh. Does it look weird, though, with the scarf on now? You know what I mean? Wait, that was the best scarf. Is this the best scarf? Yeah, this is the best scarf. So we can get rid of all of them. Let's change the appearance of this. I'm just wondering, you know. 
if having Norse Scar. Oh, yes. Yes. And then let's change this outfit to. Um, maybe that one. I kind of like. I think it's the pants and the boots. I'm, I, the waistcoats. No, I just don't like this. I don't like what's around his neck, right? Like the little chalice thing. Um, but I like the pants and the the thing. Is uh... oh, well, that's kind of cool. I kind of like this. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to look a bit evil. Me evil. Okay, let's sell what we need to sell. Mr. Plenty Augustus Hill. Today, take your time. Oh. A fedora. We've got a Bane mask. Ooh. Okay, but what I want, I want to sell, right? Uh, can I make Mark for junk? If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. We're just going through them all. Wait a minute, did I just sell something that was green? The very first item. All right. So I've got 3,000 gold. Do I... Wait, let me go on. Get this thing from behind the counter here. Oh, yes. Look at me. Look at this. And I just got a fedora. I don't think I can wear the fedora whilst I've got my hood up, though. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Yeah, it's it's less. I get. It's not a matter of it being. A wait, oh, wait a minute. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. Even though I sell them, can I still use it as an appearance? You can. That's cool. That's cool. Ah, yeah. Look, it says here the, the hoods up. Wait, so you can can you not? Can I not wear glasses or something whilst I've got a hood up? Oh, you can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're back. Or I can have the lizard ones. I don't know, maybe I go with a mask, you know. Maybe they go with a mask. I'm thinking this Bane one, you know, this asylum mask. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. 23 defense. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Yes. Yes. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. We are going with the Bane mask. I've done up in this menu again. God damn it. I want to be in this menu. Thank you very much, Bitsy. And then we want to change this to this. Yes. Yes. The collections are going up, aren't they? Yeah. Um, quests. Um, okay, so we need to go back. Uh, the, the daily in keys is something that we've got to do over time anyway. Which we've kind of been working towards. Oh, I don't like how the thing's clipping through the hood. Uh, okay, well, I guess... God, this place is so nice at night time. Let's have a look at the... Like here. There should be like a band playing here and something, you know. There should be a band playing. There should be like fireworks going off. Just kind of like to give life to the... You know. The night time. I think it'll look pretty cool. Revelio. Is there anything I can Revelio? Sack of potatoes. School uniform. Hello. 
What is this place? Tea shop decor. Reflective of the proprietor Miss Steeply's taste, this tea shop is awash in the colour pink and frills. A cheery, tinkly bell chimes whenever a customer enters. Nice. This was level 14. What's upstairs? Rebellion. Ooh. Black leather gloves. Oh, the better. We don't get any uh, trait slots though, so I'm gonna put them on just for the better offense right now. But we can't do anything regarding traits just yet. So I'm gonna keep hold of them. Um, we got an outfit as well, didn't we? Which is this? No, okay. Nice. Where's the hairdressers? There's a hairdressers here, isn't there? Where is it? Oh, there's the last page. I've just seen the last page. The barbers. It's there. I think this is the last page. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, we'll go this way. Cut over here. The cat again. This guy running from. He's eager, isn't he? Oh, hello. Hello. And how would one like Rebellion. to I'll just come into the shop and go, Revelio. Oh. Mm. That's not weird. Oh, they're locked. Level 15. Hello. I would like a haircut, please. Hello. Oh, come in. <laughs> come in. Hello. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I I'm need sure a new haircut, myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Change why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? Um, I can't tell right now. <laughs> you can stop by any time. This, this, uh, this woman, this woman is eager. She's eager. I'm just saying. You guys can make your own assumptions, but she is eager. What is it you might be interested in? All right. I don't know. Ooh. The white, maybe?
White, maybe? Yeah. I think I might go with the white. You guys let me know what you think. Go with this. You can stop by any time. Wait. Did I not what purchase it? it? I mean, in. God damn it. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Just come I don't think I can have this on my face. It looks cool, but it's clipping through my hood, and I don't think I'm liking it. With it clipping through the hood. I, obviously, it's giving me better stats, but I don't think it's working. There we go. Let's go. Okay, cool. Right, I guess it's time to head back to the castle and uh, go and speak to, I think it was Headless Nick, I think, uh, for our next quest. But we do need to return to Gareth because we need to hand in this quest and get some juicy XP. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Back here. Nice. Revelio. I feel like you, you've got a Revelio everywhere. The only problem is, is every time you use it, he says it. You know? Hogsmeade, here I come. I'm... No, we've just left your spoon. Okay, right. I'm back in the school. Oh, you guys again. These guys need to quit it. <laughs> Um, but I ran all the way back here, um, and I was hoping something would happen. Oh, we've been in there. Uh, but nothing did. I just grabbed two two mushrooms. That was it. Revelio. What was that? Oh, was it that? Was it the dragon? Okay, is this guy going to play me some music? Then he always, he always stops after a little bit. So we need to go through here. And then... Hello? Oh, this is the puzzle we did outside, isn't it? Yeah. I've noticed as well that since the day one patch, uh, there's none of that weird lighting thing happening that was happening at first. That seems to be working fine and dandy. Uh, if you guys are playing it on PC, let me know if you guys are having any PC problems or uh, trouble with it. Because um, obviously I'm interested. Because I'm, I'm not experiencing anything right now. But like I said earlier, people are experiencing it with issues on PC. Okay, he's just up here, isn't he? And then we can do Headless Nick straight from this. Hello. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them. Incredible. That was the longest journey we've had to do for a side mission. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Fizzing whiz beer. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. Yes. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret safe with me. Okay, good. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. 
I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. I guess it depends on what it is, Mr. Nicholas. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Oh. Wait a minute, Nick. I need to remember this location. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? Rumoured to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favourite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled dirig dirigal, dirig dirigible plums uh, are likely an acquired taste. Hmm. It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. But you want me to? Rotted beef. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Yep, I can do that. Ah, Revelio. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Tickle the pear? If one tickles the pear in this still life painting of a ball of fruit, it will giggle before turning it into a doorknob to allow entry to Hogwarts kitchens. Yes, okay. in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Oh! Wait, am I... Am I in the restrict... Do I need to be in disguise? Never in the will kitchen. understand students. What could they want? Plenty of delicious found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how certainly makes Rookie's job easier. easier. <laughs> Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Let us keep our heads about this. I'm, I'm too sorry. Get away from what me. What the? You make a point. <laughs> Okay. I don't think that's magic. Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find <laughs> it soon enough. Just follow your nose. Thirty-two. Oh. We're going to equip that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Rebellion. House Elf Living Quarters. Every practical and creative, the Hogwarts House Elves have created a cozy village like home for themselves amongst these barrels in the Hogwarts kitchens. Of course, one cannot presume to know what they're really what's really inside, as house elves are extraordinary magic of their own. Hmm. Um. Ugh. There's a disgusting smell. Oh. I must be getting close. Ugh. Oh, a student? What a treat! Hi. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. 
think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Hmm. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Herquin's pie has always been a favourite, but the new Fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. <laughs> Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to Thank help. you for the beef. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Nice. Right, so that's the village. Is there anything else I can grab whilst in here? Gold leaf. Revelio. Ooh, that's, imagine doing all that washing up. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Who knew? It smells glorious in here. What do it's a bloody kitchen, you spoon. Let's eat everything in here. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind hearted sort. Incendio. <laughs> Wait, did I set that wood on fire? Okay, let's go. Nick? Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Fienke sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Fienke. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? The roast beef wasn't for you? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this Headless Hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. This could be interesting. Where is it going to take me, though? 
Are we still going to be in the school? Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is it because he's nearly over. headless? They don't accept him. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. Am I going to have to find, find his it, head? I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite... Clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. I guess I've got to find a head. What is this? We've got a Lumos, some candles. I don't know if that's the Forbidden Forest. Hmm, I don't know. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Then there's this. Don't know what that is. Find the Headless Hunt's game. Okay. Wait a minute. Rebellion. Anything? Yes. Wait, he left his meat. Oh, he can't grab it, can he? There was a chest down here as well. Excuse me. Yep, it's one of them. Okay. Uh, we want. Oh. Hello. So you get 500 gold every time you use one of them. Interesting. Okay. What is this? Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Hmm? Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Okay. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, 
A mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. So I'm gonna. I gotta do this to all the pumpkins. This could take. I'm not gonna lie. You're sure to find him. This could take some time. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jack Dorf? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Was that wiggling the that whole time? Said I should blast the wind. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. <laughs> It was, wasn't it? A sting is playing. I could do that too if I had a wand and a body. Is it over yet? Are we still going? Then I would be the one to clean up this mess. Now I just need one more. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. Bada bing, bada bosh. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Well, it seems like he's got fleas. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Dor here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Nope. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely oh. still moldering away with my uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Uh-oh. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. <laughs> That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Well, it looks like we're heading to the Forbidden Forest. And we just leveled up to level 15. But... That can wait until next episode. So th this one's already been long enough, but next episode, um, which will be... I don't know when it goes, because these should now be going back out daily. 
there won't be two videos a day now. It'll be kind of going uh, daily videos. And I'm aiming to get them out at 4 p.m. every single day. That's my goal, to release a daily video at 4 p.m. every day. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Uh, keep smiling, and I will see you then.